Nose up. Nose up. Reverse thrust. A little bit to the right, please. Reverse thrust. Nose down. Reverse thrust. Look at that. Look at that. Hello everyone and welcome to another Stormworks video. In this video we're going to be checking out the End Air E190 E2. Now this plane looks really cool, uh, apparently it's multiplayer compatible, I haven't checked it out before and it's also Stormlink compatible. So yes, that is of course meaning that we are doing a Stormlink mission mod today. Uh, we're going to be transporting some PEDs from the airport here all the way up to the Arctic Hub. Uh, it's quite a big flight, um, plus minus, let's see how many kilometers would that be so that is going to be 104 kilometers in that direction uh, we're going to be using a ground power unit to start off today we're going to get some power onto the plane we'll then jump in it get the apu running we're also going to be using a stair trolley uh, so that we can of course go and walk up to it and load some passengers in uh, we'll do a pushback and then we'll do a nice little taxi so let's get this up and going so we're going to get the electricity connected and we'll get the power unit on and hopefully provide some nice electricity to the plane. Now we don't have to do it. Uh, this is just a cool little feature. So we're gonna get that up and running. This seems to be moving a bit too. So stop, please. Okay, let's get the stair trolley. Now I've used the stair trolley quite a few times in some of my other videos. It's really cool. It just works really well and that's why I like it. So we're gonna get it going. So let's get our lights on and let's start moving. You can see we're gonna move around here. Cool, very nice little stair trolley this. And let's go and turn ourselves and get lined up. And once we're close, we'll use the controls there on the ladder or the staircase to actually move ourselves forwards and backwards and get ourselves perfectly attached to that aircraft. So we're just gonna get lined up here. So nice and straight, hopefully. Yeah, it's not exactly 100% straight, so we're just gonna reverse here and just make sure we are 100% in line for where we need to be. And then the rest of the way, we will just bring it in using the um, piece at the top here. So now that we are good with that, let's get it out of reverse. Let's jump in here and we can now use these pieces. So we're gonna go forwards and up. And you can now see we're gonna move up and forwards at the same time. Really cool. And it actually doesn't move that quick. So when you're using this, it just slowly inches itself forwards, which is a really cool feature. So we should come nice and lined here, just to the right, which is good because we need to have some space for the door. Look at that, that's awesome that you can do this. Really cool. Uh, there should be a button on the store to open it soon. Somewhere around here, I think. Yep, there we go. Let's keep on going forwards. It looks like we need to go down ever so slightly. And then let's keep on going forwards. Okay, and let's connect ourselves. So we're on the plane now. We can get inside here. We can see uh, we've got plenty of space for our passengers. I think you can fit around 40 or 50 people in here. Uh, let's go inside the cockpit. So nice little cockpit. Looks really cool. Uh, let's get things going. So we're going to go and get, uh, let's see, let's get our avionics and our battery on. Let's get our PFDs on. Uh, along with that, we can also go and get, let's see, we can get some API hydraulics on. Let's get our APU fuel pumps and our APU started. And that should now start our APU, which means that we can disconnect our ground power unit from the plane. Cool, that's up and running. We can disconnect our power unit. Let's go and put that on here. Cool. And we can probably turn that off too. We don't need it anymore. Shut that. Turn that. Thank you. Uh, cool. Let's go and get into the plane. And now that we've got our everything up and running, we can probably go and get our lights and things up and running too. So nav lights, anti-collision, taxi lights, uh, logo lights, beacon lights. We're going to get our cabin lights on. Now, this also has a feature where you can adjust the brightness inside here, which is really cool. Uh, cutoffs, no, we're not going to start the big engines just yet. Let's get our heating inside here. Our hydraulics will get later on. Everything else looks good to go. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, we get everything set up while we're waiting. So we're going to get our altitude today. We're going to be flying at, let's say, 5,000. Uh, we can also set our waypoint course to the Arctic. We're going to have some flaps for takeoff. Engine starters will get up and running in a few minutes. Uh, screens, we have navigation, we have our engines, and we've also got an HSI, which is going to be to see our nautical speed, uh, miles heading, etc. like that. And we've got some little PFD here, which is pretty cool. Uh, cool, so now that we have all that, we need to tell the Stormlink mod how many people we can fit inside our actual plane. So we're going to do PCAP 
and 40. And let's load some passengers. So we're going to do P load and let's load all passengers today. 40 passengers are on board. Let's go and check that they all are on board here and they're all ready. Yes, looks like they're all happy and ready to go. So we can go in here. Let's go and dim our cabin lights here. Now that we've got that running, let's get our big engines up and running too. So we are going to do our engine cutoffs. We're going to do our fuel pumps. We're going to get our hydraulics on, hydraulic systems on, and we're going to get the engines up and running. Get a little bit of throttle on those engines and they should be up and running now. We can wait for those to start. While that is all starting up, we can probably disconnect or stop our APU. So APU, APU, cool. And let's just wait for this to get going here. Cool. Once that's going, we can disconnect our mangles here. Let's bring this trolley back. And then we will, we're just going to use the handles to get up. Cool, let's wait for those engines. I think those engines need a little bit more throttle from what they have at the moment. Uh, cool, let's press up bringing this down. Fantastic, and we'll just bring it out of the way of the plane, which here should be fine actually. So let's go and turn this off. Uh, we're gonna get back on the plane. We use some handles which are conveniently located over here. Let's get up on that handle and then we'll bring ourselves up into the plane. Unfortunately, we don't have anyone to do the pushback for us, so that's why I had to jump out. Um, cool. What we're going to do also is we are going to do a reverse thrust pushback on the plane today. So we can go and get some throttle, so about 11. We're going to get our brakes off, and we're going to do a reverse thrust, and hopefully push back here. Wait for our engines. I think they're still building up some, some RPS. Probably get them up a little more. And we should stop being pushed back. Yep, so you can see we are slowly moving backwards. It's perfect. Let's get a little bit less throttle on this. Okay, we are pushing back, which is perfect. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, we'll do taxi out that way and then head off and then we'll take off in that general direction, I think. Um, so let's start turning our nose here. Now reverse thrust is actually really easy to control, just two, so I can activate and deactivate it whenever I need. Very smart of the creator to do that. And I think when you do the reverse thrust, it actually opens up the um, the covers for the engines. So I'll show you guys in a few seconds once we get going here. Let's get the nose straightened up. So if we zoom in, I'll show you guys. So see the engine bays here, all the engines, turbines. If I press two, which is reverse thrust, see how they open up? That is so cool. That is really nice. Very smart of the crates to do that. Uh, and you can also use the reverse thrust for when you're doing taxiing. So if we're going too quick, we can just put some reverse thrust like right now. Throw some reverse thrust on, slow ourselves down. Very nice. Uh, cool, let's go and properly do a taxi now. Probably should have put the seatbelt signs on. Oh, I might have done that already. Yeah, seatbelts and no smoking, please, because we are going to be taking off very shortly. So we're just going to do a nice little taxi out here. We could have refueled here if we wanted to, but I don't think we have plenty of fuel on the plane already. It was pre-fueled for us. Very nice, nice and clean. Let's go and zoom out here, show you guys what it looks like. Oh, I'm sliding around a little bit, but that's Stormworks. That's not the creator's fault. The wheels just don't have enough grip, unfortunately, in game. Cool, so we're just going to go and get ourselves all nice lined up on the runway here, and then we'll go for a takeoff very soon. Just using reverse thrust just to slow us down ever so slightly, which does work quite well. You can kind of hear it, a weird noise in the background. Cool, so we're good to go. I'm going to get our brakes on, throttle down. I'm just using reverse thrust just to slow us down ever so slightly here until we come to a stop. Okay, so we're almost uh, lined up here on the runway and I'm pretty much all happy with that. So what we're going to do now is we double check everything. So spoilers we don't need, flaps we have on, everything else is on, APU I don't have, it's off. That's all good. All of these are controls on. We can get our taxi lights off. Everything else is good to go. 
logo lights we can get off too we're ready for all of this later on roll dampener we don't need just yet we'll turn that on once we get up in the air uh yeah pretty much everything is good we could obviously set our comms if we needed to autopilot's connected ready to go let's get our hsi on uh and let's roll up so take off 120 parking brake off and try and keep the nose down and level for this takeoff this plane does have a little bit of a tendency i think to lift its nose let's go and lift it up here please look at that spot on beautiful very very nice let's go and get our flaps off okay let's get our roll dampener on we're going to get altitude selected too and we're going to get our flight director on too so that's now going to go and lift our nose up and we should be going up to around that altitude so I think that's in um, feet, so about 5,000 feet. So you can see we are going up here. Quite a steady incline there for this plane, but okay. Sure, if the passengers are happy, I'm happy. Um, see if I can just bring this nose down. The nose is going so far up. It's a very, very big pull up. Okay, you can see we're now leveling out now because we're getting closer to our target altitude. Uh, let's go and get our gears up. So gears are going and folding up there beautiful very clean very nice well done i like the slow motion on those gears beautiful um let's go and get our autopilot on so we should now be heading towards our course and you can see we're now flying that direction spot on very nice uh now that we're up in the air and we're all set we can go down to cruising speed so around 110 uh, we can also get our no smoke or no smoking we need to keep on uh, seat belts off we can um, pretty much just now sit back relax enjoy the view out the window of um, the crater base and the islands around us and uh, wait until we head up over to the arctic so we've got about 100 kilometers to go until we get there um, enjoy the flight uh, hopefully the passengers are enjoying the flight too let's go and have a look at them yep, they look fine they look happy uh, so we'll leave them be and uh, I'll meet you guys back once we are close up to the Arctic when we come in for our approach. All right, so we're just coming up to the Arctic now. We're about 13 kilometers. You can see it in the far distance there. We start to get some land. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to line ourselves up. So I'm going to try and get a nice um, part there. So let's set a waypoint for there. And let's get a new waypoint in our plane. And we'll start heading towards that direction. Uh, we can probably get our altitude down to around 1,000. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go too far down. And we can probably start slowing ourselves down too. I'm also going to get the seatbelt signs on because, of course, we are going in for landing. Uh, we can probably get our landing lights on too. Logo lights, everything else can stay off. Uh, let's go and brighten up the cabin a little bit. Uh, and we can dim our cockpits a little bit more. So we'll head to that waypoint, uh, which should be any second now. And then once we hit that waypoint, we can set a new waypoint for the airport, which should be about now. And we can then hopefully be perfectly lined up with um, with the airport, hopefully very soon. We are decreasing our altitude, as you guys can see that. I'm probably going to start getting our speed down also. So landing is between 25 and 15. I think the, the crater said anywhere between that's good for landing. Um, so hopefully that'll be fine. We are slowing ourselves down. We're probably going to get our landing gear down too. Uh, so that's fine. Altitude's dropping quite quickly. We can probably get our flaps on soon um just to start slowing ourselves down even more i'm quite high in my altitude so just keeping an eye on that we do need to keep an eye on that mountain range i also i'm thinking of probably just setting a new waypoint of probably around there possibly and then and then turning yeah i think that's probably good we also go to manual control in a few minutes too but uh, that should be good. And then we can get lined up with our runway. As you can see, we're a little bit off on the runway at the moment. So I do want to turn a bit and then um, head to that general direction over there. Cool. Everything else looks good at the moment. We're still around 2,000 feet uh, and dropping down, which is good. Speed seems like it's around 197. So we can probably get the speed down a bit more too. And then I think I'm going to throw my flight director and altitude hold and all those kind of things off in a few seconds. So let's get our autopilot off. 
and then we're going to go in for manual control now into the airport we should be coming up for a nice equal line we can probably clear our waypoint too we don't need that cool so that's the waypoint gone uh you can see we're now leveling out so we're going to get ultra hold roll dampener everything off and we're going to go into complete manual mode now for our flight uh, everything seems like it is good to go. Seatbelts on, everything is good, everything is fantastic. Let's get our speed down to around 40 uh, in for our landing. We're getting quite a quick descent here. Uh, let's see, can I control this using up and down? I can't, uh, don't think I can. Oh wait, no I can. I can control my throttle. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to control my throttle. Uh, I'm also going to get flaps on in a few seconds. So let's get our flaps. Cool. And then we're going to come in for hopefully a nice level landing very, very soon. I'm keeping an eye on my speed. Uh, I would love to see maybe a stall speed indicator on there or possibly some warning saying stall, stall, stall if we're going too slow. Um, but so far we seem good. And then once we touch down, we can get our reverse thrusters on and hopefully everything should be good. I'm worried that we're going a little bit too slow. So I'm going to pick up my speed now to about 34. Uh, you can see I'm feeling like we are dropping a little bit too much altitude. But that could just be my me think overthinking this. Uh, I want to come down for a little bit more altitude now. I'm bringing the nose just about there. I'm aiming for about that point now, and then we're going to pick up the nose in a few seconds, uh, and then also start. I'm all a little bit off on this on my line here, so we're going to just start creeping ourselves over to the right. Uh, that looks good so far. Pretty start getting my throttle down also. That looks good nose up a little bit we're going to start doing reverse thrust a little bit nose up nose up reverse thrust a little bit to the right please reverse thrust nose down reverse thrust look at that look at that probably need to go a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left and reverse thrust a little bit more Try and keep it nice and straight on this runway. I don't want to go off, otherwise we go straight into the ocean. Start slowing ourselves down, thrust down, reverse thrust a little bit more. And we're just going to go and stop just in front of there. Cool, so reverse thrust ourselves a little bit more towards the area here where we're going to be stopping the aircraft. We do slide a little bit, that's unfortunately just Stormworks. Nothing that the creator can do to fix that, unfortunately. And let's do complete reverse thrust. We've kind of like doing a 360 here. Let's get parking brake on. That's all off. Look at that. Spot on. I don't know how we managed to slide like that, but I'm happy with that that, uh, that result. I think we're in a great position here. Uh, cool. So now we're on the ground. Let's get our seatbelts nice making and let's turn our in APU on. APU start on, please. Uh, we'll get our engines off in a few seconds. Engine off, engine off, flaps we don't need anymore, parking brake is on, throttles at zero. AP should be starting up any second now. Cabin lights, we can leave cabin lights on, nav lights off, collision lights off, landing lights off, logo lights on, beacon off. And um, there we go, we can get our fuel pumps and our cutoff and things like that off also. Probably our hydraulic system, we don't need that anymore. Our AP we do need, all that off, everything else is good. Fantastic, very nice, very happy with that. And uh, of course, people, you are at your destination. Let's open a door for them. We don't have any trolley today or any stairs, so they're gonna have to jump, unfortunately. Uh, and now we can do uh, unload, which is question mark P unload. And let's do unload all. And uh, there we go, <laughs> look at that. We've got a whole bunch of money for that. Um, guys, I think that is a great place to end this video. I've had a lot of fun flying this plane, and I think that landing was almost spot on. I'd probably give myself a an 8 out of 10 for that landing. But um, I've had a lot of fun, I guess. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you want to check out any of the creations I've looked at, from the stair trolley to the generator to this plane, uh, even Stormlink, I will leave links in the video description like I usually do. Um, go check out those creations. Go get some live over to the creators. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any of my future content, hit that bell icon. And until the next one, we will see you then.